Hello dear students, this is Vivek Vaibhav and you are watching lecture video on representation of geographical features through contours, class 8 geography. Dear students, I hope you are doing well at your home. In the last video lecture, we have learned what is contour lines what is slope, contour intervals, and basic knowledge of benchmark, sport height, triangulated height, and contour lines, steep slope and gentle slope. Now, we are going to discuss today cliff and the different types of landscape through contour lines. Dear students, first and foremost, I want to deal cliff. It is your question and today I am going to deal. Cliff is a vertical or near vertical rock face. It is abrupt change of the land on top of sheet. Cliff are shown by contour lines that are very close together and in some instance merge into a single lines like that you know that this is cliff this is cliff as you seen in this picture as you see in this picture these contour lines definitely very nearer very close to each other and the landscape use see in this picture is definitely a rock face structure and actually it is a cliff okay now we are going to discuss conical hills conical hills as you know that a conical hill is represented by equal spacing contour and heights increasing towards the central circular contours. Contour appears in concentric circles and the slope are equal to all directions. The central or the innermost contour has highest value swing summit of hills. As you seen in this picture, this is conical in shape landscape and here we have contour line. So in your topographical sheet, when you see like this quagmire structure in a one, basically in the center we have the greater height value of contour lines. Okay, so this is the maximum height of contour. 2200 meter and this is the lowest 1500 which is top of the which is, which is uh, mount of the pedamount of the hills foot hills this is the foot hills okay a conical hills with uniform slope and narrow top represented concentric contours space almost at regular interval this is the conical hills now, in another picture, you have seen quagmire structure like that and uh, you have already seen in the last two picture. Now, plateau. As you know that, plateau is a tabletop uh, flatted land. So, so plateau is a flat topped and the steep edge highlands. The innermost contour, highest contour is very wide, the represent of flat table. like top and there is may have closely spaced contour that depict uh, steep slopes as you have seen in this picture like this you have tabletop plan this is something table like a structure in the top this is very linear type of structure linear lines type of structure that means it is a plain surface area and from here to here 
it is definitely increasing in the height way and from here it is constant and from here to here it decreases like that this is the landscape and this is contoured lines it is also plateau now the major part of your landscape when the students there are uh, many mountain range in the world and having different set of structure and different uh, set of things we have seen and repeatedly when you visit that place we seen different set of uh, landscape so how can you find in your topographical sheet is very pertinent question today now ridge saddle call gap and pass first we are going to deal with ridge ridge is a long narrow shape as upland with a several peaks it is also a range of hills the slope may be steep or may be gentle as you have seen in this picture this is ridge okay now this is contour of ridge so contour of ridge like that we if you uh, see in the stopo seat we have this sorts of a structure okay in a contour lines in a middle and uh, as you know that in the middle highest uh, contour lines given and uh, in the outer of the uh, contour lines outermost contour lines is the lowest height of the contours as you have seen each and every contours now so you have easily uh, recognized ridge in your topo seat now saddle saddle is a shallow depression between two hills depression means deep point in comparison to hills in a any area it is bordered gap compared to call a saddle is also because it's resemble the shape of saddle used on horses as you know that in a horses when horse rider climb on it definitely in a horse back there is the saddle so then like saddle like a structure when you found in a mountain range is definitely called saddle it is it does not provide passes through mountain look at this picture this is isn't it like saddle of horse and the structure of the contour lines in your topographical sheet like that okay this is saddle saddle like a structure okay now call a call is also sometimes called saddle it is uh, like saddle like a structure but it a low point between two hills or between two peaks of a ridge okay and if the gap is wide then it is known as uh, saddle so in this uh, contour if the gap is not wider we can say it call okay so like this a structure we have this is call and this is saddle okay this is gap and this is pass now pass as you have seen in this picture we have pass so two conical hills like a structure and a two or three contour lines passes uh, outer surface of this uh, conical hills like, like a structure as you have seen in this uh, sheet so you easily find out in our in your topographical sheet a pass is a low land between two mountain peaks and provides a passes as you know that in a himalayan ridge there are so many passes nathula pass shivkila pass georgila pass like that so passes like a structure is this passes between two mountain ranges there is the way to go and other uh, places is passed now gap 
A gap is a low-lying depression or valley which cuts through a range of hills. A river is flowing through a gap. Definitely, a river is flowing like this. This is the gap we have. This is the gap. And look at this blue lines. It shows river. Okay. So, if you cut a conical hills in a three uh, side uh, into two, two parts, three side contours line, conical contours, and one a small water bodies or river flowing through it, this is gap. So, all uh, this is all about your landscape, ridge, saddle, call, and passes. I hope. Uh, you enjoy this video and understood easily conical hills, plateau, cliff, all the things. So keep watching my video and if you have any doubt, just write in a comment on uh, YouTube also and in your classroom also. Okay, thank you so much. Stay tuned.